Hello. I'm closing in on the bombers. If you're supposed to escort. We will probably meet some opposition when we get closer to the target area. Flying in the P-51B. I decided I wanted to try out IL-2 again after playing a lot of dogfighting in TCS. Seven, so we Low. found some fighters Out. here. I wanted to play a bit more IL-2, but I don't want to play the planes I already have in DS, TCS. Because flying the Spitfire and IL-2 is just not good next to the DCS-1. But IL-2 has so many other planes that DCS doesn't, so I can fly those instead. This of course isn't that different from the P-51D in DCS, but it's a bit different. The cockpit is really really cramped in this bird cage uh, canopy. Oh. Get this guy. <laughs> good hits, good hits. Fighting though. So yeah, the canopy is really, really tight, and there's a lot of reflections in the canopy here. Whoa, he's getting his nose on. Whoa, that was close. That was really close. He did hit me a bit. But I think I'm okay, I think I'm okay. So yeah, this feels very different from the P-51D actually. And of course you only have 4 50 cals instead of 6. Which in TCS would be close to useless, but in IL-2 they work perfectly fine. I think also I'll fly some Typhoons, some Tempest, maybe one of the one of my Gs, you know, stuff you can't fly in DCS. But I think I'll save the, save the stuff like Stuka until I get to fly um, Cliffs or Double Blitz. I need that Stuka to do some attacks on British shipping. The southwest range to an out four engaging fighter range about one mile. Out. It's just so much one easier getting three. bullets on targets in this than in DCS. Eight. Engaging fighter high range about two miles out. Run the man three engaging fighter. Yeah, I think it's down. Range about I wasted a lot of bullets on him, but I think it's down. Five engaging fighter to the southwest. I was just trying to get away. Rubble man three. Engaging fighter to the northeast. Range two and a half miles. Out. Rubble four. Engaging fighter. Range half mile. Out. Rubble eight. Engaging fighter. He's down. Want to make sure. Range about one mile. Out. Rubble. Now where the hell am I? I know where I am. Or anything. Okay, the bombers are at the target. Okay, I'm not too far from the target. Not way off here. 
people that's trying to catch up to the bombers to protect them. We got way too distracted by that guy. So yeah, uh, this P-51B is one of the newer planes in IL-2, made for the Normandy expansion they're working on. It's a really nice plane. As I said, the canopy makes it feel very different from the D model. I also finally got the trim to work. Apparently the IL-2 doesn't recognize any of the various directional buttons I have on my remote stuff. So my trim button trim hat etc doesn't work and I try to add them to other things but uh, it won't recognize any of them so I finally had to find a couple of axes spare axes I had and use the axis for the trim it works okay stuff like gears and flaps still don't work correctly I have to put the gear lever up to put it down and I have to put it up to put it up again because of, yeah it's a bit complicated it's a shame it doesn't work as well as it does in DCS they're shooting at the bombers and the bombers are shooting back this is what happens when you get distracted and you the bombers are protected. I have two mirrors now, I wanted a spare mirror too. So I have double mirror. Mirror power. Emergency power here. Try and catch up with this guy and get up, get up to his level. Looks like a bomber is going down. Or is it one of the attacking plates? Engage with this guy. Some more my shots. There's a lot of stuff going on in there now. The place everywhere. Is he on my ass? So many planes are. I must say the P-51 looks way too much like a German plane. I only knew that guy was a bad guy because he tried to shoot down our bombers. There's something on my ass. Is he a bad guy or a good guy? I don't know. There's a guy down there. He's playing everywhere. I don't know if they're good or bad, I can't tell. Not in the air. Wait, is that a P-51 or is that a Focke Wolf? I really can't tell. I think he was a P-51. I can't tell. Sure. What about this guy? Oh. That's not good. The bombers are getting hammered. Anything in a mirror? Rough 
I really can't tell if these planes, these planes are good guys or bad guys, man. I can't tell if these are after me or the allies. I have to turn into them in case they're trying to get behind me. Like this guy. What are you? And now because I had to turn, I'm even further behind the bombers. They're just flying past me. Are they trying to get to the bombers or are they allies trying to save the bombers? There's so many here now. He's a bad guy, but I had to get really, really close to find out. I didn't want to shoot him, it was absolutely sure. Boom, while shooting here. But hits, good hits. He's down. Second for the day. Let's see if we can find some more. Man, it's cramped in here. Really don't want to get shot in the ass. What are you? Good guy, bad guy. Rough man, two. Engaging fighter to the east. Range half mile. Out. I think you're a bad guy. I think I'm gonna shoot you. Rough man, seven. Engaging fighter to the yep. east. They look shiny until you get really close and you see the ammo, camo paint. That was quick. Health is perfectly fine in this game. In DCS, 650 cals don't do that much damage. I've been flying the P51D in a dogfight recently in DCS, and the amount of bullets I had to put into the Anton to really get it down is insane. Come on! 
auto ammo. Fuck, you lucky bastard. Faster now, getting out of the fight. Checking my six, I don't want to get hit in the ass. Can't see anything. That guy was so damn lucky. One burst till another burst, and he would have gone down, I'm sure of it. So that's three confirmed kills and one damaged. Unless he crushes before I get home. That's pretty successful, but we lost some bombers. That's not good. That's not good at all. I should have stayed with the bombers, man. Got distracted with the first one. It took too long to kill. Shaking my ass again. Okay, getting close to home now. is really enjoyable to play. Yeah, I have my complaints about the flight model and the graphics. You know, the Spitfire doesn't feel like a Spitfire or how I assume a Spitfire feels based on DCS. And, you know, that's probably true for other planes, but um, I'm thinking if I'm keeping two non-DCS planes, I haven't ruined myself with them. So I'm gonna fly the P-51 a bit, at least the B. Maybe the Typhoon, I'm really, really bad at ground attack. So I'm not gonna do much with the Typhoon, I think. I'm bad at ground attack in DCS, I'm even worse in IL-2, I can't see shit in IL-2. So let's land this thing, hopefully. Not crashing into the AA guns. Oh, dropping a bit faster. Will I even reach the threshold of the runway? Not sure I will. Ooh. And we're down. That's pretty successful. Say. Three back three in my first mission. That's pretty good. 